when we examine the era of Imam Sadiq alayhi salatu wasalam, we see a golden age of Islam, an age of the revival of the knowledge of the Holy Prophet, a reintroduction of the beautiful narrations from this immaculate family. And we see that the collection of traditions that have been left behind by the six Imam of ours, for some of us is life-changing, redefines our purpose, repaves the path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us. He leaves behind a treasure of words for us to emulate and follow and somehow implement into our life. And one such tradition is when he says to a group of companions, Inna subbirun. We are very patient. And our Shi'as are more patient than we are. It's a profound statement. And the companions that sat around Imam Sadiq at that moment, and God blessed them for their follow-up questions, they would probably ask the same questions that you and I would ask. That how is it possible? Yabna Rasulullah, how is it possible? That you claim that we, the Shi'as, are more patient than you are. And again, the profound response by Imam Sadiq is one that we have to ponder on. He says, we are patient. Nasburu ala ma na'lamu. Wa shi'atuna yasburuna ala ma la ya'lamun. It's a profound statement that we are patient based on our knowledge, but our Shi'as are patient despite the fact that they don't know what's going to follow after their patience. There's so many lessons, so many delicate points of akhlaq that can be derived from such a profound statement by our sixth Imam. One of them is this fact that our sixth Imam is saying to the, the, the Shi'as and whether or not we count ourselves amongst the Shi'as or not is different. But here is the leader of the Ja'afari faith telling us his potential Shi'as at least that I understand the struggle you go through. I know how difficult it is sometimes. There are many people who are patient for the simple sake of being patient. There are those that are patient with their tragedies and their hardships and their struggles, not knowing what will follow that patience, not knowing what will happen in one month time, six months time, a year from now. And yet they're asked, be patient, be patient, be patient. And they are patient not having the knowledge of the unseen, not knowing, of course, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's plan is, not knowing, of course, what's going to follow this patience, nothing, but they are patient simply because it is at that moment required from them. Here, Imam Sadiq is saying, look, that patience for us is very, very important. That is a very, very important amount of patience and forbearance that you have. And inshallah, through that patience comes your salvation comes your support. It just gives us, those who are struggling right now with our hardships, a little bit of strength, a little bit of a push when we know that our Imams, our leaders, our Mullahs now understand that the pain that the Shias go through is one that is understood by the Imams, not taken lightly, not taken for granted. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us ease in our hardships, to give us that forbearance and that patience, and to continue to instill the love of the Ahlul Bayt inside of our hearts, inshaAllah.